Hi there. Today we're going to be talking about crest releases and why you should be using them at your next horse show. We're going to start right now. Hi there, my name is Laura and if it's your first time here, welcome and thank you for watching this video. And if you would like to improve your riding, win more ribbons at your next horse show or generally interested in other horsey related stuff, then start right now and subscribe to this channel. Click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss a thing. Now let's get started. I get this asked of me quite a bit. What kind of release should I do? And that's what we're going to be addressing today. First of all, let's talk about the hunters. When you're judging the hunters, the judge wants to see a horse getting to the jumps and rounding its back and using itself beautifully. So that means basculing correctly, using its head and neck as best can. And that's the purpose of the release is for the rider to be on top of the horse and not interfering with that horse. So the horse can jump lovely over top of its, of its back and using its neck, neck correctly. So if you're inhibiting the horse by having too short a rein or not the correct type of release, then that's not the correct type of release. The correct type of release you need to have is a release that's going to allow that horse to show itself properly, to use itself beautifully over top of that jump and bascule and round and arc correctly over that over the jump. So when people ask me what type of release should I do when I'm in the show ring? For hunters, you should do the release that you need to do with that particular horse so that you can make the horse sound correctly and use itself its best. And that's maybe the short answer for you guys, but it depends on the rider, it depends on the horse, and it depends on the course and the jump. So you need to understand your horse, you need to understand yourself, and it has to be the release that's necessary so the horse can jump its best so that it can show the judge, yeah, that's a knockout jumper and it's using itself beautifully. One thing you should try to avoid is an over exaggeration of the release. Don't try to make the horse look like it's a better, more powerful jumper than it already is. Be invisible and let the horse do its job. Sometimes over exaggerating the release can backfire. It detracts from an otherwise really nice, smooth, powerful picture. It also, sometimes if you get your timing off or lay down on the horse's neck too much, just puts too much weight on the horse's front end and they take a jump, they hit a jump, they'll roll a pole onto the ground and there there goes a, a winning performance. Have you ever seen anybody at a horse show do an exaggerated release? Did you think it made the horse look like it was jumping bigger or better? Leave us a comment down what you think I've thought about that. Put a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Remember in the hunter round it's the horse that's being judged. Now let's talk about equitation. In the equitation round it's the rider that's being judged and this is where your release is going to count you have to make it clear that you are doing a release and that you are not interfering with the horse. The judge likes to see a rider who doesn't interfere with the horse and using a short release or an automatic release so that the rider is following the horse without over exaggerating the release. Here are what I think are three of the top main things that I've seen in the equitation ring that people think are acceptable releases but are really just not. Number one, the ducking, slamming their front end down on top of the horse's withers. This is not a release and actually may even make the horse the horse's job more difficult by loading the horse's front end when just when they're trying to pick up their front legs off the ground, the rider's slamming their upper body on top of the withers. Don't do that. It's harder for them to jump that way. Just move your hands, slide your hands up towards the horse's mouth. That's all you have to do. If you're looking for more horse showing tips, you want to get noticed in the horse show ring, take a look at this link right up here what the judge is looking for, the top three things that the judge is looking for in the horse show ring. Just click that button right there and it'll take you right there to the link. The second thing that I think is a major error as far as releases goes are riders that shove their hands up to the horse's ears when they're going over the jump. And this to me really detracts from an overall performance of the riders. You don't need to grab a hold of the horse's ears when you're doing a release. Just move your hands uh, six inches up the horse's neck, just enough so the horse can use its top line nicely and that you're not interfering with the horse when it goes over the fence. It's that simple. And the third type of release that I see a lot of that should not 
that doesn't have any place in the equitation or hunters for that matter is the floating release or the lifting release. And if, if I can see daylight between the bottom of the rider's hands and the horse's neck, this is the horse's neck and this is the rider's hands. If I can see daylight between the rider's hand and the horse's neck, that's called a floating release or a lifting release. And that is no, 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 don't do that. Have your hands placed on the crest of the horse's neck and follow towards the horse's mouth as the horse is jumping. Don't lift your hands up. You can't lift the horse up over top of that fence. Keep your hands still, move your hands forward towards the horse's mouth so the horse can round its back and you can stay in balance with the horse. So there you have it. Some ideas about the crest release, why you should use it and things, my top three things that you shouldn't be doing when you're doing a crest release. My name is Laura. Thanks very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Leave a comment.